Well, it took uh, Pigeon Rock a couple of runs to get his maiden victory, but since he's done that, it's given him the confidence to go on, and he's followed it up now with two wins from eight starts and five places. Number five, Pigeon Rock, has come through to open up the jackpot for trainer Sean Terry and apprentice Dennis Schwarz, and you've ridden him in his last three starts, Den, so you've got to know him pretty well. You've now won two aboard him and a third, so you've bu you're building up a nice relationship. Well done. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, I have to say, he's a little bit of a stubborn horse, but um, I get along well with him and uh, uh, well into Mr. Terry for, because his starting full certificate got taken away last time, so got that sorted out nicely. And big thanks to Joe, the work rider, uh, for, for getting him right for this race. Well, congratulations to you. I thought a very confident ride, so you knew what you had under you. And uh, when you moved and you got going on him, there was nothing catching you? Yes, I was either going to lead or sit second, and um, the horse next to me was going a little bit quicker, so he was fighting me a little bit, um, but I got him to settle nicely, and once he did that, I, I knew he was quick enough nicely, and um, he, he has a good winning chance, and I didn't really need to use the stick on him. I just had to guide him along along the way here. Well, congratulations to you, and uh, nice win for Mr. Terry. Thank you so much. Uh, a big thanks to Mr. Terry and the whole team, and also all the owners involved. Big thank you. Congratulations. Well done to Dennis Schwarz. Well done to trainer Sean Terry. He's been ultra consistent, Sean, but uh, it's nice that he's got his confidence from that first win and he's followed it up. Yes, he's a, he's a challenging horse to work with, obviously um, very temperamental. However, um, when he races, he races uh, extremely consistently and uh, he's definitely going from strength to strength. And, you know, just uh, obviously a big thank you to the syndicate. It's a nice group of guys. We've Managed to just keep it fun, and uh, you know we are s certainly reaping the, the benefits. Obviously, Dennis did mention a big thank you to Joe Gunguiza, who does a lot of work. But Tobisa Narko, the assistant who, who looks after that yard, has done an unbelievable job with him. And uh, yeah, just to the guys, to Mark, to Aiden, to Craig, uh, to Eric, just well done. Well, congratulations. A lot of fun, I think, and uh, that's what it's all about. And it's always nice to have a horse that always runs his heart out when he does get to the races. Yeah, and with these guys, there's no, there's no pressure. You know, at the end of the day, we have to have a good time and we're enjoying it. And, you know, this is, um, we've got three batches which the syndicate has bought. And, you know, there's an older batch and a younger batch, and this is in between. But it's gone nicely, and I must just say thank you. Just to quickly touch on the rest of your card, you've got in the sixth race coming up one of the features, Spirit of the Groove and Sedoni. Sedoni, very impressive, first time up. And what are you expecting throwing her into the deep end today? Yeah, she's certainly got the ability. She certainly hasn't got the experience, and that's probably the question mark. Her coat hasn't turned yet, still a little bit wintry, and same coat she won with last time, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, just the experience. She's got the ability, and hopefully she can put it together. Spirit of the Groove is not short of ability. She's come on a lot. She gave me an exceptional gallop in the week, uh, previous week. She's not out of it. Chimichurri... Obviously, the question mark is the um, distance, but he loves the course. Put on the red light. If he doesn't find this course too sharp, he's a big runner. Okay, and then right at the back, Jotario. Yeah, it's, it's actually a nice coupling. I expect him to be there, but I think Jotario is, is ready to, to just about win. Thank you very much. Well done, Sean. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done to trainer Sean Terry. Well done, guys. Lovely to have you part of the syndicate. You're having a good day. And uh, very nice uh, horse on your hands because it's nice that he's come, he comes to the track, he gives his heart out, and he's ultra-consistent. He gives you so much fun. Unbelievable, eh? And as Sean said, it's all about fun. We've had uh, three different groups that we've bought in different sets with the yearlings. Uh, Mark, Eric, the rest of the team, Craig... Quinton, all the boys, the boys upstairs, Cliff. And uh, i got to say well done to Joe and Tabiso. I mean, they've really, really looked after uh, this horse, and uh, I think he's going to go on from here. Well, let's hope. Congratulations. And nice double on the day. Yes, thank God. Thanks to Sean. He's done well for us, and thanks to all the guys at the stable. They work hard. Lovely. Congratulations, guys. Go and celebrate. Thanks so much. Huh? Well done. Well done to the winning connections. Yeah, it's all of Sean Terry Racing CC, nominee Sean Terry, Mark Curry, Eric Van Eker, Craig Zochby, Mrs. B.M. LaHood, and it's Sean Terry and Dennis Schwarz teaming up with the five Pigeon Rock, bred by the Alchemy. He's come through to open up the jump. the 1200 meter marker 
Tokyo Drift is in. They're set to race, and off they go. Good start for them. Rockstar Child Pigeon Rock is off to the front with Baron Rodney showing good early toe. Free Deal is wider out in the track, and Bright Number 10 is circling all of them on their outside. Further back to Lazarus Tree is about five lengths off the leader, two lengths away to Weir Old Chommies, and the back markers Tokyo Drift. And there's got to be about 10 lengths covering them now as they went to the 800 metre mark and bright number 10 circled them to lead it by a length and a half from Pigeon Rock in second. Baron Rodney is racing away in third. Rockstar Child, free deal is wider out. And then came Lazarus Tree, has got six lengths to find. Wheel Chommies is back towards their inside and the back markers Tokyo Drift. They become homeward bound with 500 to go and bright number 10 led them in a length and a half. Down the inside is Pigeon Rock. Up the centre is Baron Rodney. Then there's about four lengths away to Free Deal and Lazarus Tree. Entering the last 300, Baron Rodney, Pigeon Rock down the inside. Between them is Bright number 10 away then to Free Deal. But Pigeon Rock picked it up with 200 to go here from Baron Rodney and Bright number 10. And Pigeon Rock gallops strongly inside the final 100 metres. And Pigeon Rock's gone three lengths clear. Pigeon Rock wins it well. Second to Bright number 10, Baron Rodney. Tokyo drift wider out. Then came free deal the we're all baron rodney then there's about four lengths away to free deal and lazarus tree entering the last 300 baron rodney pigeon rock down the inside between them is bright number 10 away then to free deal but pigeon rock picked it up with 200 to go here from baron rodney and bright number 10 and pigeon rock gallop strongly inside the final 100 meters and pigeon rock's gone three lengths clear pigeon rock wins it well second to bright number 10 baron rodney tokyo drift wider out then came free deal we're Chommies, Lazarus Tree, and behind that Rockstar Child.